Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up Hey, hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video or welcome if you're new here. My name is Amy Darley and today's video is going to be a clean with me. I've got lots of tidying up to do around the main living areas of my house and then I'm also going to be doing some deep cleaning in the kitchen and then also some decluttering and organizing in this video. I really hope that this video gives you guys some motivation to get some things tackled on your to-do list today, whether it is cleaning or running errands, going to appointments, um, getting some work things checked off of your list today. Whatever it is, I hope you get motivated to get up and get moving. And if you haven't made your to-do list yet, go ahead and get a piece of paper out or get your planner out, make your to-do list. And I'm gonna start a comment thread down below in the comments where we can all leave our to-do list for the day. I'm gonna even leave mine for today. So the day that this video goes up, I'm gonna leave my personal to-do list there so that way we can kind of get motivated from each other and we can tackle those to-do lists together. Also, if you are new to my channel, then I'm so glad that you found this awesome community that we have here. I hope you will subscribe and say hey in the comments, introduce yourself, let us know where you're from so that way we can get to know you guys better. All right, so as you can see, I'm starting out in my bedroom this morning. I'm just tidying up in here. I'm not gonna do any like deep cleaning in here or anything, but I'm gonna tidy up and then I have Kaysen's laundry to fold in that basket. So I made these two shirts for Gracie June for baseball the other day with my Cricut. This one just says, hey, brother, brother, swing. And then this one says, that's my bro. And then on the back, it says, and he will strike you out. I also made another one, but she wore it the other day, so it's dirty right now. But I also got a few things from Walmart. This is only part of my Walmart haul that I got. The other stuff I've been wearing, so they're all dirty. I got Gracie June some little athletic shorts. I picked up this little lounge um, sports bra type thing. I wouldn't work in, out in this probably because it's not very supportive, but it's perfect for like lounging around the house. It's super, super soft too. And I want to say, let's see, it doesn't have the price on here. I'll put the price on the screen because they were so cheap. I want to say they were like seven bucks. And then I got these athletic shorts and I actually got three pairs of these. Um, I got them in this peach color and then I got a pair that are like a navy blue color and then also a pair that are black and speckled and these were only $10 each and the reason I like these so much is because one it does have like the built-in um, underwear part for support and then also because they're pretty long so these are a lot longer than most of the shorts that I end up getting they're a five inch inseam. So for athletic shorts, I felt like these were pretty long, so I like wearing these to baseball games. And then this is another shirt that I got. It's the exact same shirt that I have on, same style, same brand, everything, just a different color. It's the Free Assembly brand, and I'm loving this brand from Walmart. Um, this one's kind of like a crop top, but it was only 10 bucks, and they had several other colors. I kind of want to go back and get all the other colors, too, because... I love this shirt so much. It's super comfy. You can throw it on with sweatpants like I have on today, or you can even put it on with jeans and have yourself a casual little everyday look. So I know that was totally random little haul that I shared with you guys, and I actually got a ton more stuff from Walmart, but y'all will have to let me know if you like seeing those hauls in my videos. Um, I'm going to be sharing some other things over in, on Team Darley soon. I know I've been pretty quiet over there. It's just been crazy busy over here. So I will be sharing some stuff over there soon too. But y'all let me know if you like seeing hauls. And I will link all the stuff that I got from Walmart down in my description box. You've been looking for, looking for someone. 
Brings you breakfast in bed And does a mess with your head No, but you don't answer to, answer to no one Cause you got way too many scars From people tearing you apart no, You think I let you down Break your heart and play around But that's not me, no I will love you, love you right back and come and hold you whenever you're so if you're new here i have a chocolate lab named cooper and you probably saw him already in the video he pops in and out of my videos he's actually almost completely blind and going deaf as well he's 13 years old but he sheds horribly so we try to vacuum if not every day we try to vacuum every other day and i'm always so shocked at how much dog hair comes up with me vacuuming so often <laughs> So now I have my bedroom tidied up, I have laundry folded, and of course, now I get to start more laundry. I basically do at least a load, if not two a day. So today I'm washing a load of white towels, and yes, I just threw the cap in with my laundry. That way I don't have to wash it by hand. It's just so much easier, and actually it's safe to do. I'm also using white distilled vinegar. I do this with my sheets and my towels instead of fabric softener, and you do not smell the vinegar at all once they're done washing and drying. And then I'm also using a little bit of bleach since it's all white towels. So now moving into the kitchen, I'm gonna first take all the things that do not belong here and go put them where they actually belong. And I did not mention, but it is a Monday when I started this video. And so all this stuff that's just out everywhere is because we actually had a baseball tournament. And when we have baseball tournaments on the weekends, we are literally gone all day long and do no cleaning. We come in, we're so exhausted, we just drop everything off, take our showers, and go to bed. So that's why everything is just kind of piled up in the kitchen here. So here on the counter, we also have a bunch of our GoPro stuff, and I actually use a GoPro Hero 9 and film all of the boys' baseball games, and I make little videos for them of their highlights and stuff, so it's a lot of fun. If you have kids that play sports and you're looking for a good camera, the GoPro Hero 9 is awesome for sports. Now as I'm unloading the dishwasher, I wanted to show you guys I got some new kitchen utensils. These are exactly like the other set of utensils that I had, except for they have wood handles instead of the copper, but they still have the silicone tops to them. And the reason I got new ones is because the other ones were really pretty. They were the copper handles, and I love the way that they looked, but they were constantly tarnishing, and I was always having to buff them out with the barkeeper's friend, and it was just too much work. So I wanted to get some with the wood handles. I love the silicone tops. So that's what I did. These are from Amazon as well though, and they are pretty inexpensive. So I will link those below in case you're interested. All right, and now we are gonna get into some deep cleaning of the kitchen. So the deep cleaning of the kitchen is actually on my spring cleaning checklist. This is something that I try to do at least three or four times a year is go through and do a really good deep clean of the kitchen. And so I'm gonna start with just dusting here on the top of the cabinets. And honestly, one of the biggest tips that I have for when you are deep cleaning a room or a space is to go from top to bottom. So that way when your dust is falling all over the floor, you're not having to re-clean spaces that you've already cleaned. Now the kitchen is one of the rooms on my spring cleaning checklist that I feel like takes the longest just because there's so many different things to clean and appliances and the inside of appliances and all of that. So it usually takes me several days to get all the deep cleaning done in the kitchen. For you, I'm just unknown, and you're not that now to clean the cabinets, I'm taking a little bit of powdered Tide, some Clorox bleach, and hot water. I'm gonna mix that together, and then I'm gonna use a white cleaning cloth as well. Now this solution is great for disinfecting your cabinets, but you wanna make sure that when you dip your cloth in, you wet it, but you wring it out really well because your cloth does not need to be sopping or dripping wet when you're washing your cabinets. Control my body and my 
soul don't want to be hold for you i'm just unknown and you're not that someone who will find my heart and bring peace to my mind to move on oh because i will find the way on my own now you're gonna see over in this area i go a little bit more than halfway down this wall and then i actually stopped on this area just because this is where we keep our trash can so it gets pretty gross down here at the bottom and I wanted to go ahead and wash the rest of our cabinets before I got back over to this space. I'm also going to be doing our baseboards. So you'll see, I end up doing all the top cabinets. I do the backsplash and then I do the bottom cabinets and then I'll go back and I'll get that area over there and also the baseboards. My body and my soul don't Hello, how'd you do? I'm not broken, I'm just split in two. Hope you're fine, ain't got time to do everything you said you would. Frames of the past and the memory of you just come running by. Pictures of sunny days with your smile and the I was broken How could they say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them oh. How could they say I was broken How could they say you made me come undone Now I know that it's okay Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them And here I just wanted to show you guys a few close-ups. The bottom cabinets are always way dirtier than the top cabinets. Usually our top cabinets, you might see a little bit of dust or something like that. But on the bottom cabinets, you can definitely see some spills or food stuck on, things like that. So they're always a lot harder to clean. I always have to put a lot more arm power into the bottom cabinets than the top ones. Broken. How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. Oh. How could they say I was broken? How could they say you made me come undone? Now I know that it's okay. Unlike my friends, you are nothing like them. I'm not broken, I'm just split in two Hope you're fine, ain't got time I'm not broken, not broken, not broken so it was funny because Chance was actually at home this day and as I was going through, I remember getting to this part and I was just like, oh my goodness, my arm feels like it's about to fall off. And of course, he always offers to help, but I'm like, no, this is my channel. I need to do the cleaning. Um, sometimes I'll take him up on it. Like if he wants to clean my car, then I will definitely film him or let him film it and put it in my videos. But for the most part, I try to do everything in the videos by myself because um, it's my channel and I want you guys to get motivated and feel like you can do it too. Who knows what you think about me? All right, so here I am back over in the area where we keep our trash can. I'm gonna get this wall really clean down here. And then like I said, the last place that I'm gonna use this solution is on our baseboards. And the reason I did that was because I knew that that was the dirtiest part and there's lots of dog hair and all of that. So I saved that for last. 
And here's a look at the dirty water. That's pretty gross, but honestly, most of that was probably from the baseboards. So the next thing I'm cleaning here is our window, and I'm gonna actually clean the window down with the Jaws glass cleaner. And then I'm gonna do our window tracking. Now, I'm not gonna pull the screen out and do the whole outside or anything because right now the pollen at our house is horrendous. I don't know about you guys where you live, but the pollen is so bad and we're gonna end up having to wait probably another month before we start cleaning the outside. So there's really no point in me taking the screen out and cleaning all of that. So I'm just kind of getting where I can for right now. And then later on, probably like a month or so, we're gonna start cleaning the outside. Now I'm going to use the Jaws Granite Cleaner to wipe down the granite countertops and as you can see I made sure to do the window before I wiped down our countertops and the reason I did that was because I knew I was going to be standing up on top of the countertop to clean the window. Two, three. Love is like a roller coaster, but I'm trying to hold on. I don't want it to stop. Even though we fight sometimes and it feels like a war zone. And here on my wood countertops, I'm using the Method Daily Wood Cleaner. This is nothing new. I've actually been using this product since way before I started my channel, and I am still using it because I'm still obsessed with it. It smells so good, and I love how shiny it leaves my wood surfaces. Girl, I can't forget about what we said. I just want to love you. Now I'm going to quickly go around and do all of the appliances and for my appliances I'm using the Jaws Kitchen Cleaner and I just love the way that this stuff works. You can actually use this cleaner all over your kitchen. You can use it on the countertops, you could use it on your cabinets, whatever you want in the kitchen you can use this cleaner. But it's definitely my favorite for doing appliances. Now really quickly, I'm gonna sweep here in the kitchen because you know that there's probably dust all over the floor. Um, but I like to use my broom every now and then to make sure I can sweep up under those appliances and get all of that dog hair or whatever is caked up underneath there. But majority of the time, I'm using my cordless vacuum. Y'all will have to let me know, what do you use more, a broom or a vacuum? Girl, I can't forget about what you said. I just want to love you a little bit more Don't just walk away from me 
All right, I do have more cleaning to do in the kitchen, which you're gonna see later on in the video, but for right now, Chance and I decided to go through our hanging wall file holder, and we're going through all of the papers that we have shoved in here, and honestly, it's probably been a year and a half since we've gone through this. So we're making two piles, basically keep and then shred. So we're gonna take all the stuff that we're gonna shred and put it into a bag, and Chance is gonna take it to his office. We still haven't invested in a shredder for our house we probably should but he's just gonna take it to his office and shred all the stuff there and then the rest of the stuff was basically stuff for taxes that we need so I'm gonna just go throw that in the office and now our hanging file folder thing is empty and the last thing I'm gonna do on this day is just tidy up really quick here in the living room. And I'm gonna trade out a few of the pillows that I have for spring. I got some from Home Goods and Target, and I pretty much think that's the only spring decor I purchased this year. So I did pretty good. And I'll link those pillows below in case you're looking for something similar. So for dinner this night, we ended up cooking chicken fried rice. It's another recipe from Elise Ellis. I'll share her Instagram handle in the description box, but it was so good. So I wanted to share the recipe with you. So first you're gonna take about four cups of cooked rice and you're gonna throw it in your refrigerator because this recipe works best with cold rice. And then these are all the ingredients you need. You need chicken breast, which our grocery store was out of chicken breast, so they had this already diced up chicken breast, so we got that. A bag of peas and carrots, some olive oil, sesame oil, soy sauce, two eggs, onion, and green onion. And then I forgot to show the minced garlic, but you're gonna need that too. And then I've got my little cooker here, my chef here that's gonna help me film this video. So first you're gonna start by cooking up your chicken. You can season it with as much salt and pepper as you like and just cook it up here in some olive oil on the stove. Then when your chicken is done, just set it to the side in a bowl and then throw some sesame oil into your pan, two tablespoons to be exact. And then you're going to saute your onions in with your frozen peas and carrots. And you're just gonna saute that for about five or six minutes. Next, you're gonna put in a couple teaspoons of minced garlic. Stir that in and cook for another minute or so, and then you're gonna kinda push your vegetables to the side, and then throw in your two beaten eggs and just let that cook in there with that. Once it's done cooking, you're gonna mix it all together. Next, throw in your green onion and about a fourth a cup of soy sauce, and then put in your cooked rice and your chicken, and then you're just gonna mix it all up, and you're done. And I didn't think about it, but we had the overhead light on, so I turned it off, and this you can actually see a lot better of what it actually looks like. It's not so bright, but this recipe was so good. It actually feeds, I think it was like nine servings. So I split mine up. I actually counted it, counted it out to 9.4 ounces, and her recipe shows the macros for 9.1 ounces. So if you're looking for some macro-friendly recipes, definitely go check it out. We ended up having this for leftovers the next night too. All right guys, so it is the next day. It is 9.40 a.m. I just got back from an appointment, which is why I actually have my hair done and makeup on today. <laughs> um, but I have a few more things that I wanted to include in this video that I'm cleaning here in the kitchen. I also need to still declutter and organize the drawers here that I showed you guys yesterday that are a complete disaster. Um, we did clean up after dinner last night, so you guys saw that recipe, the chicken fried rice. You have to try it, and if you do, let me know. Um, but we cleaned up all the kitchen after dinner, so the, the kitchen is basically still clean, other than a few things that I want to clean here in the kitchen. So. I hope you enjoy, I can't talk, I hope you enjoy day two of cleaning.
All right, so the first two things are going to be the Keurig and the microwave. You can see it's not too, too bad, but we definitely have some splatters here in the microwave. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a cup of white distilled vinegar and put it in the microwave on high for five minutes. And what that's going to do is just break down all that food and grime that's stuck on the inside of the microwave. So that way when I get ready to wipe it all out, it'll come out really easy. Now while that's going, I'm taking all of the pieces from my Keurig and putting them in the sink. Now some of these can actually be washed in your dishwasher. So if you want to do that overnight, definitely check out which pieces are dishwasher safe. But I'm just throwing these in my sink right now and I'm spraying them with the Dawn Power Wash and I'm just going to let that sit while I clean out the inside of the microwave. Now that the vinegar is done cooking in the microwave, I'm going to take that out and I'm also going to take my little dish tray out and I'll wash that in the sink. But I have a wet sponge. I'm just kind of going around on the inside of my microwave and making sure that everything gets really loosened up. And then I'm going to wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. And this is just so easy. Now, I'm not a fan of the way vinegar smells, but luckily the smell doesn't last too long. And it's a way to clean without using a ton of toxic chemicals. Pick up the Somebody, somebody know of a place where your heart doesn't sink like a stone when you make it broken. Now I'm just going to wash the Keurig pieces really quickly and then I'm going to start washing the inside of the Keurig, which I'll show you in just a minute. Somebody know of a place where the green isn't covered by snow. Every time that your eyes speak, it's time to let go. Does somebody, somebody, somebody know? All right, so I am just using vinegar to spray on the inside. I did end up taking those other pieces out too and washing them. And then on the outside, I'm using the Mrs. Myers Multi-Surface Spray. I realized I forgot to unplug the Keurig. So please make sure you unplug your Keurig before you start cleaning it. So I cleaned the outside really quick. And then for the inside, I actually took my little scrubber tool that looks like a toothbrush. It's actually a cleaning tool. And I'll link it below because I use it in tons of little spaces that I can't get to really easily and so after I had that all cleaned I just started putting all of my pieces back into my Keurig. Now to clean the inside of the Keurig I'm going to fill up our water tank with white distilled vinegar and then I'm going to brew this through until all of the white distilled vinegar has been brewed out of the tank and then I'm going to fill it back up with water and run that through again just to make sure we get rid of all that vinegar and we don't taste any vinegar in our coffee. Now I do know that they make little cleaning pods that you can use instead of using vinegar. You can use cleaning pods in your Keurig. So if you want to go that route, they do sell those on Amazon too. Okay, now we're moving on to cleaning the sink. And I showed this in another video, but this is the splash guard if you have a garbage disposal. And some of you said that your splash guard does not come out and that really stinks, but mine does. And so I pull it out and look how gross it is. Now, not only is this gross, but I wanted to clean the inside of my sink too. So down there in the garbage disposal, and several of you told me about something that you'd seen on TikTok with using ice. So I wanted to try that in my garbage disposal. So I put the splash guard back in. I took a ton of ice, threw it in my sink, and made sure to push it down, and then turned my garbage disposal on. 
while it was on. Then I turned on my hot water and what's supposed to happen is your water's supposed to come back up and you're supposed to see all the gunk and mess that is caked up inside of your garbage disposal. But as you can see, no water came up. I did this twice and it did not work for me. Okay, so I literally just tried the ice in the garbage disposal two times and either my garbage disposal is not that dirty, which I don't think is the case because you can see the splash guard for the garbage disposal is disgusting. So I don't know how the inside of the, the garbage disposal couldn't be super nasty too. Um, I went through all of my ice in my ice machine. So I don't know, but I have seen other people do it and it's really nasty what comes out of there, but mine, the water never came back up. So. I'll have to link a video for you guys of someone that did the garbage disposal trick and what it actually looks like when it works. But hopefully my garbage disposal is pretty clean now. <laughs> We're just gonna pretend that it is, even if it's not. All right, so I'm not sure why it didn't work for me. Obviously the sink never filled up with water, so maybe that's why I couldn't see how dirty it was. But now I'm just gonna quickly clean my splash guard here and I'm using Dawn dish soap and then I'm once again using that little tool that I use that looks like an electric toothbrush and I'm getting into all the crevices and everything and it's nice and clean when I finish. Always knew that you were stubborn But didn't know it'd be so hard To figure out who you really are Okay, now I'm going to use the baking soda cream cleanser to clean the inside of my sink and all around on my white sink. I love this stuff. It helps keep your sink smelling fresh, but also white at the same time if you have one. It also works good in stainless steel sinks too. I've seen lots of my friends using it in theirs as well. So I'm gonna clean this out really quick and then I'm gonna dry off with some paper towels. Okay, so there is nothing like the feeling of having a fresh, clean sink, am I right? <laughs> All right, so now that that is done, it is time to do some decluttering in these drawers, and I honestly haven't done this in over a year, probably since the last time you guys saw me do this last year. So I am starting with our top junk drawer, and I'm pulling everything out first. I'm gonna clean down the inside of the drawer, and then I'm gonna go through everything that we have and trash what needs to be trashed, put things back where they belong if they don't belong in the drawer. Like we have some of Chance's tools and things that were just thrown back in here. Those can go back in the garage. And then I'm gonna organize the rest of the stuff that stays in here. Now all the loose change that we have actually goes in this little container that I keep in the laundry room because you guys know change often is found in the laundry room and pockets and stuff like that of clothes too. So that's where we keep that in case we need any. And then now I am just organizing the drawers. We also ended up having a ton of gift cards. I was so shocked that we had so many gift cards that we hadn't used yet. And now moving on to our bottom drawer. And this kind of was like our second junk drawer, but also our electronics drawer. And I'm taking all the electronics out of there. I am gonna keep some of our charging cables and things like that in there, but mainly I've just got a bunch of tissue and wet wipes, things that we can just kind of grab. And then I also have a little sanitizer machine in there that sanitizes your phone, your glasses, all that kind of stuff. But this is all the stuff that we are moving out of here. The bag is full of trash. And then all of these are charging pieces that I had no idea where they went. So I'm gonna take those and put them in a basket in a closet for right now. And this is what the drawers turned out like. So I feel like it looks so much better. There's a lot less stuff in here, a lot less clutter, and hopefully we can keep this managed easier. All right guys, so that is it for this video. I 
pretty much got all of the cleaning done in the kitchen. The only thing I have left that I keep putting off is my oven. I don't know about you guys, but I hate cleaning the oven. So I definitely need to do that in a video soon. But I hope you guys got so much cleaning motivation from today's video and hopefully you guys get tons of things checked off of your to-do list today. Don't forget to let me know in the comments what's on your to-do list and if you get it all done. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe and say hey in the comments as well. I hope you'll have an awesome week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!